As I was scrolling GitHub's training repository page, I stumbled across a really cool project. By the way, this is a way I usually find video topics. Anyways, I found a project by E2B Dev called AI Artifacts. It's an open source hackable version of Anthropic's Cloud Artifacts. This open source artifacts is truly buffed up as you can transform datasets, designs, as well as prompts into apps as well as interactive dashboards with this new AI tool. You can build and generate full on full stack apps for free with the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. Now you may be wondering, what is an AI artifact? Well, with Anthropic's new release of their Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model, they introduced a new feature within their chatbots called Artifacts. These are standalone content pieces that Claude creates, like documents, code snippets, or even diagrams, which you can easily view, edit, and reuse in a separate window during your conversation. And now, we have AI Artifacts, an open source Anthropic Claude Artifacts. This app is an open source version of Anthropic's Artifacts UI in their Cloud Chat app. It utilizes E2B's Code Interpreter SDK, which is something that allows you to add code interpreting capabilities to your AI apps within a sandbox of E2B. It also utilizes a core SDK, and this is something that basically handles installing libraries, running shell commands, you also have the ability to run Python code, JavaScript, R, as well as Next.js apps, and so many other things. As we all know, Anthropic's Cloud Sonnet 3.5 model is going to be one of the best AI-based coding-based models that's out there. You can utilize it within this Artifacts app, and it's something that will help you with really good code generation. You can also utilize the Code Interpreter SDK from E2B, and this is for secure AI code execution using their own sandbox. You have Vercel AI SDK for tool calling and streaming the process of responses from the model. You have supported AI generated code where you can run AI generated code with Python and Jupyter Notebook. You have AI generated Next.js.apps. You also have Streamlit apps that you can incorporate within this AI artifacts. This is something that will be released soon, which is the vanilla JS TSR. You also have the ability to stream AI generated code, which is something that will be coming out soon. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. Personally, this is the first time I was able to see a Streamlit app being developed within an artifact application. Usually, Streamlit is pretty hard to configure with for the basic or as well as the beginner uh, coder. And in this case, you can easily develop a basic Streamlit app with AI artifacts. This is something that is very helpful for a lot of beginners as well as people who are trying to get into AI. You can choose between three different categories, a Python data analyst, Next.js developer, or a Streamlit developer. In this case, it's creating an interactive 3D chart, and within a couple seconds on the right-hand side panel, you're gonna be able to see a preview of this interactive 3D scatter plot. And this was something that was developed with this free open source tool. So you may be wondering now, how can you actually access this? Well, there's two methods. You can basically try out the demo, which is cloud hosted by E2B. And in this case, you just simply need to sign in and create an account with your GitHub account, or you can basically create one with your email address. Now, another way is installing this locally, which I'm gonna be showing in a bit. But what we're gonna be doing now is just simply signing up and we're gonna be testing out a couple of things with this cloud demo. And after you have signed up, you can start interacting with this app. So what you can do is you can choose between these three options. In this case, let's develop a modern finance tracker app with the next.js developer. In this case, within a couple of seconds, it will start working on generating this and it might take a little bit longer to generate this, but within a couple of seconds, you're gonna be able to have this pop up on the right hand side, which is the panel that you can visualize your code. Two hours later. All right, I've been waiting for way too long to generate this. For some reason, it's not generating it. So let's try again. Refresh the page and paste this in. And I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes to see if it generates. One eternity later. So for some reason, the next.js developer is very, very slow. And I'm testing it out with all three of these different types of options. And in this case, the Streamlit developer was able to generate this application for me. You can actually preview it and it had developed the code as well as this application within Streamlit, which you can see over here. You can add a date for your transactions, your income and expenses, the category. So in this case, say if it's an expense, gas expense, 
you can then specify that and then add a transaction and you can see that this is an application that was fully developed obviously there's a couple loose ends that you would want to tweak afterwards and you can do that with the code itself to see which area needs help as well as which area needs configuration and you can simply just copy the code you can also copy the link for this so that you can then copy this link and export it elsewhere and this is a preview of the link that I'd copy. You can see that it has a transaction history, such as the date, type, category, and amount. And we can just say an income. Let's say my YouTube income is $2. <laughs> you can add that. And you're going to be able to view that uh, the income over here. So in this case, it's not showing this because it didn't build one of these properties properly. So you can actually go back into the artifacts and you can tell it to fix that component. So let's go back into that. and into that actual chat and let's tell it like this is the value error that it got so I, I apologize for the error and it's gonna then focus on generating a new code and it's gonna fix that error for me after it generates so I really wanted to test out the Python data analyst and this is where I requested to create a scatter plot that's 3d for a random data set and in this case you're gonna be able to test this out within the preview and you can see that it generated this 3d scatter plot for a random data set so now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at AI artifacts and showcase how you can install it locally. First things first, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled and that's by making sure that you have Git installed. This is going to be used to clone the repository onto our desktop. Make sure you have Python installed for our programming language. NPM install, you should install this for your operating system. I'll leave a link to this documentation which will showcase how you can install the package. You need to make sure that you have Visual Studio Code installed as your IDE as well as having an E2B uh, API key ready and configured. You will also need to make sure that you have an Anthropic API key ready. So I'll leave all these links in the description below. Once you have all of this ready, you can then proceed forward with the installation process. So what you want to do is head over to the GitHub repository, click on this green button over here and copy this repository link. Scroll all the way down. What I'm going to be doing is opening it up in command prompt for Windows. And what you want to type is type in git clone and paste the link in for this repository. This will start cloning this repository. You can simply then paste in cd and then get into the artifact file. And that's by simply typing in cd ai dash artifacts and click enter. Now what you're going to need to do is just simply install the dependencies by pasting in this command into your command prompt into the ai directory. This will start installing all the packages that are necessary. Once this is done, you can simply open up VS Code. Now, as this is installing, you can then open up a new window. Once that is opened up, you can then open up the new clone repository, which is AI Artifacts. So simply find it wherever you cloned it. Select that folder. Go over to the .env.template file. You can first rename this to .env, and you want to take out this .template and now what you want to do is paste in your API key for Anthropic and your E2P, E2B API key. After you have set your API keys, you can then click on file and then simply just click save. In your .n file, you can also disable SOPA base for local devs. So once you've done that, you can then finally run this command to start it up. So simply paste in the run command, which is npm run.dev or dash or space dev. And what you can do is then copy this. Uh, localhost and you're going to be able to start it up on your localhost so this will take a couple seconds to load up and there you go you can now access this completely for free and you can start generating with the python data analyst the next.js developer and the streamlet developer so i wanted to actually create that finance app so let's actually create that modern finance app let's create a modern finance app that is interactive and you can add different incomes, expenses, and categories with the date. Oh, I said data, but anyways, it's gonna be able to generate this within a couple seconds, and it's gonna be able to generate it with my API with Claude Sonnet, and we're gonna be able to see that panel that pops up within a couple seconds as it finishes coding this out. And it finally worked this time. So we got the code for this app, and we're gonna be able to see this preview over here in a couple seconds and there we go it went away because it's still generating the code for it but as it finishes you're going to be able to see this over here now it looks a little whack at the moment but it's still working on it but there we go we have our next hot chess developer finally working on our local host 
But that's basically it for today's video on E2B's AI artifacts. This is how you can generate full stack apps for free with the Cloud 3.5 Sauna model. So I will leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that will definitely benefit you in the AI space. So with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.